Breaker broke two three. Just wanted to share a neat little piece here with you guys. I acquired here uh, yesterday. I've known about this for several years in an older gentleman's closet. He moved here from Texas back in the early 90s and has not used this since, he said roughly 1992. So he brought it by yesterday and uh, dropped it in my lap. So anyway, this is a B2500A Class AB linear amplifier, 275 watt PEP, 500 watts SE, SSB, excuse me. I'm going to call bull on that, but uh, I'll show you why here in a minute. Okay, so basically user controls are on off for the power, receive amp on and off, AM single sideband delay, and high and low carrier uh, switch here. And um, not really sure what that is, if that's for input or output. Uh, I was thinking it was maybe high drive, low drive. Not really sure how that's going to go. I have no paperwork on this amp. I have no idea who built it. This is the only one I've actually ever seen in real life. Um, interesting little piece. If any, by the way, if anybody knows who built this, uh, give me a holla. Okay, little relative uh, power uh, meter here in DC milliamps. We have the power RF and receive amp relay on there. Okay. Um, it's a pretty compact little piece. I'm going to run, run it alongside here, my little Cobra 25 with my little vintage Cobra power supply. This radio puts out 2 watts. I'm going to show you some power readings here in a second. I'm going to go to the rear here. Got the fan that runs constant and the uh, output input and output jacks for the coax. There's no standby switch on this, so if you want to run receive preamp, say only, um, the amp's going to uh, key down when you key down. There's, like I say, no standby. Um, I wish it had a standby switch on it. That would be nice. But anyway, nevertheless, let's show you the innards. Standby. Okay, kind of a neat design here. We've got uh, two heat sinks. We've got a heat sink for the power amplifier side and for the power supply side. And then we've got the fan here that uh, exhausts air uh, through the cabinet and here are the little vents here on the side. Okay, so here's the power supply board. Decent sized little transformer. Kind of a cool design. Okay, we're gonna go over here to the other side. This is why I call bullshit on 500 watts PEP. Two MRF 454s in class AB. Kind of a neat little design. I don't know, you know, it looks old school Texas starish. I don't, not really sure about that, but that's just kind of a guess. Okay, so this radio is putting out two watts. So I'm going to show you what this uh, this amplifier is doing. Okay, I'm getting 80 watt flat key with the carrier on high. Carrier on high. I turn it to low. It drops down to 60. I'm going to give it some audio here. Hello, radio, 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 one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So it's going just a hair over 160. I'm going to turn the drive back up to high. Hello, one, two, radio, 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 radio. That's about a buck 95 or so. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know, just a hair under two. And that is on a dummy load, of course. Okay, guys, there you have it. It's a very neat amplifier. I like the design. It's old school. It'd be cool if X Force, somebody like that, I don't know, BBI, I don't know, X Force, Gatekeeper, whatever, any of those guys would do something like that. I think that's kind of a neat design. Anyway, so 
If anybody knows what this amp is, please comment or email me direct at worldwide390 at yahoo.com. That's worldwide390 at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching. Seven threes, keep your powder dry. God bless America. America. See ya.